Skynet is here, now, in real life, and not just in the Terminator movie. Stay tuned. I'm a pretty advanced tech expert, and I love gadgets, just like any typical consumer. But the gadgets are not self-contained little toys. Today, everything is covered in words like cloud, AI, search engines, even quantum computers, autonomous vehicles. What is not being understood about the new tech is that unlike the original decentralized internet, the current structure of tech is about centralization. This is the same whether the issue is social media such as ZocBook or voice recognition technology from Alexa. Alexa is a very good example. Voice recognition doesn't happen on your Alexa Echo as many of you may think. Voice recognition for Alexa, Siri, Cortana, and Google Assistant all occur on the centralized servers of the mothership platforms. When you start getting into autonomous vehicles, which in essence are car-shaped robots, skip the vehicle part. Think instead of how these vehicles are centrally monitored on a Waymo system from Google. In the last decade, the tech has been moving into extreme centralization. Where Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon aren't consolidating their power of control, governments like China have stepped in to create an alternative centralized authority for the tech. This is not how the internet originally started. It started out as a democratic platform for open speech, and now the entire communication structure of the world is in the hands of a few people. Zuckerberg of Zuckbook. Larry Page and Sergey Brin of Zoogle, Tim Cook of Apple, Jeff Bezos of Amazon. This is crazy. A handful of people, a handful of companies influence everything we do. And people are so enamored with the tech that they can't understand the dangers of centralization like this. There are signs today of a clash between what constituted as normal conversation and what is allowable on the handful of the world's internet and financial platforms. You can basically be censored, shut down on mobile app stores, demonetized, and basically left to obscurity if you don't tout the party line or whatever the boundaries are that are set by these platforms. In exchange for the convenience of Google Earth, Waze, and talking to family on Zuckbook, we now live in a surveillance society. Large globs of your personal data and behavior are marketed and sold and used for financial targeting, sales targeting, political targeting. In other words, this data is used to manipulate. Billions of dollars are being invested in mercenary programs that take your data and use it without your knowledge to manipulate you and your choices. Two of the biggest companies investing in manipulation are Peter Thiel's Palantir and Google's Jigsaw. Palantir personnel were responsible for creating the logic for Cambridge Analytica, which was used to try to influence the election using personality profiles for each person. They had a personality profile for 50 million Americans. Jigsaw is being used as an AI to filter user comments at Facebook and the New York Times and others. The AI gets to decide which comments remain and which comments get deleted. There are many more projects that have a proactive goal of influencing people. And even without these large, organized, multi-billion funded data mining companies, Hackers use the centralization of the platforms to launch bot attacks. How much of your social media trending data are actually from bot manipulations? Bots are fake accounts set up on each platform programmatically and made to behave like real people. They're actually just programs. 
with mass movements from millions of these bots controlled by a few hackers in Russia, for example, certain people rise in fame and money is made. And I mentioned that robots are already here in a big way and starting with Tesla vehicles. Very soon, autonomous vehicles will dominate the roads. But self-driving cars are robots. They don't have to look like cars. They don't have to look like robots. Security is now being provided by roving Robocops, centrally controlled. Okay, I realize that the original movie had self-aware machines. For the moment, these machines, technology and AI development are under the control of a handful of people. They might as well be machines. These people are also developing the next phase called the singularity. And that's when they project that machines will be smarter than people. It's projected that this is only 20 years away. So I'm not just talking about robots, but centrally controlled robots like Skynet. Folks, my desire to go retro with flip phones, have decentralized networks, and become less reliant on the centralized technologies is because I know what the technology can do. I know to what evils they can be used. I promote ham radio because it can't be centrally controlled. If and when I'm forced to submit and use the centralized platforms like I have to use YouTube here, then I use encryption. I encourage VPN and Tor as a counter to centralization. Keep them from accumulating data. I stay away from platforms that have no protections at all for each of us, like the worst possible platform, which is Facebook, Zucking Zuckbook. And that is the epitome of centralization with your real name as an index. It has more data about behaviors, location, medical, and maybe even financial data than the government. Folks, rethink your preferences and your habits. It is dangerous to have decentralized control of information and technology. Diversify. Encrypt. Encrypt with a VPN. Encrypt with encrypted messaging. Deny these large players your data. Don't use your real name. Leave platforms that invade your privacy. Set your devices to collect less information. Engage in disinformation. Don't be too quick to reveal your political beliefs on social media. You will be quickly turned into a pawn. To many of you, there's too much convenience in the smartphone age. You can't give up the conveniences even if you just learned them in the last handful of years. I liked the internet when it first started. It was the wild, wild west. Everyone was equal. Fame was democratic. That's not true anymore. Algorithms decide even who gets to watch this video on YouTube. So... Is Skynet here yet? We've all been asleep at the wheel. It's all around us. I'm John Connor. Subscribe to my channel and join the resistance. Mm -hmm.